In today's world, we are increasingly dependent on technology. Our business and personal lives rely on it, but as you've probably noticed, it's unreliable. They promise it'll get better, but it usually gets worse. Our computers are slow, so we end up squinting at smartphones and tablets. We live in constant fear that something's going to happen to our personal data. So we're scared into paying for fake protection that proves useless when disaster strikes. Update attacks, fake Wi-Fi, cloud control, and other industry scandals are designed to keep the money flowing. The jokers we pay to fix our stuff have no clue what they're doing, so they do a virus scan and then wipe out our precious photos. Intelligent, successful people feel intimidated by the chaos and think it's somehow their fault. If they only knew what the industry was doing to them, they'd get torches and pitchforks. If only we had someone to explain it all in plain English so we can start protecting ourselves. Oh wait, we do! It's the Computer Exorcist Podcast with your host, Mark Anthony Arena. From the Wallace Memorial Microphone in my home office, overlooking the hills of western New York, it's the Computer Exorcist Podcast. Got another special one for you folks today. This is a support scam. You've heard me talk about it many times before. It's one of the four new threats that are out there that no computer guy understands and no computer guy understands how to handle. Here's a story. First of all, I have to preface it by saying there are three ways you can get a support scam. Number one, you can go on Google and type in something like AOL Tech Support or Outlook Tech Support or something like that. Those real companies don't have phone numbers. They hate you and they want to stonewall you and they don't have numbers, okay? So any phone numbers you find when you do a web search are for imposters who are waiting with open arms. Oh, sure, we're Microsoft. Sure, we're AOL. Sure, we can help you. But they really can't. <clears throat> Unfortunately, in this evil industry where everything is proprietary, only the actual company can help you, right? So it's kind of like if I have a problem with my bank account, I can't go to some lawyer. I have to go to the bank itself, right? Because only they know about my account. Same thing here. You're not going to get help from some third party, unfortunately. Um, you have to go to the actual company if you have a problem. So it takes a lot of finagling to get your to get the actual number for the company, and usually you have to sign up for paid services and whatever. Um, I mean, I personally, I, I do help people with their account issues. I'm an independent third party guy. Um, but I don't have access to their accounts, right? All I'm doing for them, all I'm doing for a living is finding out the proper phone number for the company. All right, so the first method you can get a support scam, again, is you go on, on the internet and you search for tech support and you're going to get an imposter's phone number and they pose as whatever company. They claim they're Amazon, AOL, Apple, whatever. All right, the second way you can get a support scam is if they just call you out of the blue. They're calling every number one by one. It's not like you can put a block on it or change your number because they change their number every day and they call every number in America every day. So, and we're going to talk about that very soon. I'm working on releasing a product that'll block scam calls for people. Anyway, so that's the second method. They call you out of the blue. And they claim they're Microsoft, or they claim they're Apple or Amazon, and they say you have viruses, and your bank accounts are hacked, and scary North Koreans are putting Trojans in your computer. Okay. Third method, the most common one I see, is scary emotional sentence on your screen. Okay, you go to any website, Publisher's Clearinghouse, or a trashy gossip column, or any website at all, and bad guys will actually implant an advertisement in the website. Okay, so this has nothing to do with your computer. There's no security issues. There's nothing you can do about it. They're implanting nefarious advertisements in a website, okay? There's nothing you need to do. Oh, should I get Norton? I heard I should get Norton. Norton is 400 trillion centuries behind the bad guys, okay? Norton can only find something in a reactionary way 80 centuries after the bad guys are already shut down. All right? So that's fake. All virus protection is now fake. All right? 
Um, these new threats that are out there are just sentences. There's not even a virus in there. Even if Norton were, were able to look for any kind of, there's not a virus. It's a sentence. It's an emotional sentence. It says, warning, you have cookies and Trojans, and we're doing a system scan, and Windows is doing a system scan. And it looks, it looks real because there's little bars rolling across your screen, little progress bars, right? And it says all of the words that we've been trained to fear, the words that the media tells us to fear, cookies, Trojans, hacks, North Koreans, whatever, Russians. And it's just emotional sentences on your screen. That is it. They are all fake, okay? But unfortunately, we as a society have lived in fear for the past 30 years because of the extreme incompetence of Microsoft. So we live in fear, and you know what fear does to people? It makes you react in crazy ways, and it makes you uh, look for anything or trust anything or, or want some kind of immediate relief, right? So they get you scared, all right? And they scare you with all the words that you're told to fear. And a lot of low-end computer guys are, are doing writing articles saying, you got to do a virus scan, and you got to do an update. So they use all those words that we've been taught to fear, okay? So there's loud noises, annoying noises sometimes. Warning, warning, you have a system scan. And then they tell you, call Microsoft now. And of course, there's evil people on the other end of this fake phone number. And they're more than willing to claim that they're Microsoft. And then they'll uh, ask to break into your computer. Of course, as long as you don't let them break into your computer, you're fine, all right? No one can ever ever, 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 ever break into your computer unless you let them, all right? So that's the huge irony here. They're saying, oh, people are in your computer and you have to let us into your computer to find them. No, okay? No one can ever, ever, ever get into your computer unless you let them, okay? These bad guys are using fully legalized support tools as well, so that's another irony here. All right, so no computer guy can ever detect them with a virus scan because these are fully legalized tools that are just used for malicious purposes. Virus scanners cannot detect your malicious intent, can they? All right, emotional sentences and your verbal permission and legalized remote tools and malicious intent. Nothing about that is detectable by any kind of virus scan. So no normal computer guy can ever help you in this situation unless they understand how the scam works, all right? So here's what happens. I am not very good at it, but I am a scam baiter, okay? That's what you've been hearing on my recent episodes, where I, I bait the scammers, right? I pose as some elderly, helpless person, and I bait them into coming into my computer. Full, I'm fully aware of what's happening. I have a computer set up that's completely isolated and sandboxed, as they call it. Keep it in the sandbox, keep it isolated. It's just a test computer, and I let them break into it on purpose so that I can study what they do, the scare tactics, right? And a lot of times they'll do a fake scan, and they'll show a lot of things that are innocuous, right? Little either, either security logs or just a report of any nearby computers, right? Innocuous things that don't actually matter. But they'll say, ooh, this is scary, you look at all these bad people breaking into your computer, right? And then they'll say, we need to do a scan and secure all your bank accounts. And what they actually do is they watch me log into, or they watch the victim, right, log into bank accounts, email, Amazon, and they try to harvest your passwords from that. Unfortunately, web browsers nowadays, oh, do you want to save your password? So these bad guys get into the machine, and they look at all your saved passwords. So it's very, 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 very nefarious. Anyway, um, so a couple of my clients called this week and said, Mark, I got a scary message on my machine, right? So I, I teach them how to look for the X. You know, you press Escape or Alt F4. And all you really have to do if you can't press any of those key commands is just shut down the machine, right? Worst case, you do secret emergency shutdown where you hold the power button for 10 seconds. Worst case, that'll turn off the machine. And when you turn it back on, your browser will say, hey, do you want to go right back to where you were? And you say, no, no, I, I don't. And then you'll be okay. So a couple clients called with this issue and I said, hey, tell me the phone number. So I jotted down the phone number and I called them and baited them to get into my computer. 
So today's episode, I'm actually proud of myself. This isn't a medley of different scammers that I've accumulated or amassed, right? This one is me messing with one group of scammers in one office, and I, I'm proud of this. I actually wasted an hour and 15 of their time. I've edited out all the awkward pauses to save you a little bit of time, but uh, I'm, I'm quite proud of this one. This one, I got them really mad. I mean, I drove them wild, and this is the first time I got a scammer to really snap. And when they did, I told them, hey, congratulations, you're famous, you're on a podcast, and that drove them wild. Uh, and allegedly the guy said I cost him $35 for every call. So again, if you get that phone number, please call these people, waste their time, waste their long distance money. You are wasting their time so that they aren't out there attacking some other person out there, right? Um, I even got them to admit at one point when I was, I was extra slow and extra difficult for the, for the lady. And she said, why don't you just turn your computer off and it'll go away. So I got her to admit that turning off the computer actually makes the scary message go away. Right. Cause again, there's no virus there at all. There's no threat. And you'll notice the first segment, they, they get mad at me and they discover me. So I call again. And instead of foghorn leghorn, I just call up and, and I'm this time I'm Mrs. Foghorn leghorn. Right? I need help with my computer. And so I call as Mrs. Foghorn leghorn this time. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. I uh, the the scammers called themselves Patrick and Sophie, so I told them thanks for playing. This is this is fun. When I baited them into my machine, not only did they learn their la- did I learn their latest tactics, but I also was able to grab enough identifying information for them that I could report them to the legalized remote support tool that they were hijacking. They were shut down eventually very quickly. Um, what I'd love to do in the future is do what the real, what the big guys do, the good scam baiters, which is lure them into the computer and then reverse the tool so that I'm then breaking into their computer. That's advanced stuff. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But anyway, this is awareness, right? All that matters is I'm raising awareness here. All that matters is that you tell your friends that anytime you see a scary message, none of it is real because viruses can never, ever, ever happen again. A virus will never happen ever again. The real threat is someone threatening you with a virus, with a scary emotional sentence. Does that make sense? The only threat nowadays is someone threatening you with a virus. All right. Uh, tell your friends about the show, thecomputerexorcist.com. Buy my book for all your friends. And uh, go on my recommendations page and buy all the little things so that it supports the show. And uh, we will talk to you later. Roll tape. Hi, Kevin Rouse. This is Foghorn Leghorn. Call me, help you, sir. I got a message on my screen. It's very disturbing. It says Windows Defender found viruses in my computer. Can you please read out the message for me? What uh, is coming up on the screen? It, said, it just said Windows Defender, and it was had some noises, and it said Windows Defender found Trojans, and it said 844-675, and it had your number, and it said Trojans, and I just, I don't know what to do. It's it's making noises, and I, I got, I, I don't know what I was doing. It just, it was on my computer. All right. Please let me know what you're trying to doing on the computer when you just received this message on the screen. I just got a message on my computer. I was using my computer. That's what I'm asking you, sir. What are you trying to doing on the computer? I was trying to go to a publisher's clearinghouse to look at my look at some contests. What do you think All was right. going on with my and computer? It said to call Microsoft. Is uh-huh. are you are you Apple or Microsoft? All right. Sir, sir, this is Microsoft customer support. Is this the first time you're facing this issue on the screen of yours? It is. All right, and the computer which you're using right now, it's a personal computer or it's a work computer? Ah, uh, it's my personal computer. I'm retired, young lady. I believe that you are from the Florida, right? And you're the only person who just used that? I am. 
If it was a work computer, I'd probably call one of them tech guys at the workplace. You know, they usually hire those guys with the beards, and they come down and they help you, and they they do virus scans, and they fix your computer, you know. But I, I, I live at home. I'm retired. I'm retired, and uh, I live at home, so I don't have any tech guys to fix my computer. And it said this number, so I figured I'd call. I mean, even if I worked in an office, I'd probably just call the number because it told me to call this number. I hear a man behind you saying something about what exactly happened. I think he's got the same problem. All right, now, let me tell you what you're trying to, what you, why you received this message on the screen that someone was trying to get into your network and into your IP address. So that is the reason the Microsoft has blocked the access to your computer for the security reasons. That's the reason you're not able to do anything on that right now. Because of security reasons? Because someone got my IP address? So they got into my IP address. To get into your IP address and into your networks, so that is the reason your system has been blocked for the security reasons. That's the reason you're not able to do anything on that, sir. Someone got in. How do people get into my IP address? How does that work? How, this is a very disturbing thing, young lady. Have you ever gotten this in your house? This is very... Yes, sir. What was I doing to get this on my computer, young lady? How could I prevent this? How? What was I doing? <laughs> Sir, first of all, you're not talking to a young lady, all right? Uh, okay, well, you know, okay, ma'am. I know some of y'all like to be called young lady, but I'll, that's fine, ma'am. What do I do with all these viruses? This is you. Hi, say that again. Microsoft Corporation. This is Sophie. How may I assist you? Uh, hello. Hello, Sophie. Um, I, I just got a scary message on my computer screen. It told me to call you. Mm-hmm. said I had viruses and Trojans yes, and yes. someone got into my firewall. Okay. So you received a pop-up regarding that on your screen? I got it. That's right. How did you know? You. Uh, you, you you guessed pop-up correctly. Or a call or an email regarding that? I got a pop up. You guessed correctly. That's what you did to my computer. I got a pop up. Because right now on the daily basis we are getting the same calls from the customers that their screen is raised with a pop up. That's why I guess it's right. Wow. So you you knew about that. What it says exactly? It says you got you have viruses, trojans, you have scans, it's doing a scan mm-hmm. and it won't let me out of it. It says do not turn off your computer and call Microsoft now. All right. No problem. Sure. First of all, tell me one thing. What were you doing when you received this pop up on your screen? I was I was looking at my publisher's clearing house. I wasn't doing anything dirty on the internet. Did you was you going to ask if I was doing something dirty on the internet cuz I wasn't? Okay, no problem. It happens many of the times. It seems like there is a security breach on your system right now. A security and you breach. You don't need to worry about that because as you are already a customer of Microsoft, okay? So you already have some securities in built in your system. But right now as you receive this pop up, it seems like those securities are breached right now. Securities are breached. A lot on your screen. So but if I already had security, security on my computer, do, young man, how would I if, if I already had security on my computer, young man, then how would how would it be breached? You said I already had security. What I'm going to do, I will be connecting you with our security server, okay? Security and here, server. we will be checking exactly why you received this pop-up on your screen, okay? And how this was there on your system right now. Wow. You don't need to worry. I will be guiding you some steps. You need to follow that. Okay? I'm very worried about this. Have you ever had this happen to you? I'm very worried. A big, scary screen, scary message on your screen. It's. I'm very worried, young man. I'm here with you, okay? So do, don't worry about that. I will make sure that we will just 
look into the issue and in future you will not face the same kind of a lot again okay uh, so don't worry about that just follow the instructions whatever i'm guiding you with at the left bottom corner do you see a windows key uh, it's uh yeah it looks kind of like a fruit it's like a four boxes on the uh, like on the key there are four boxes it's a window key at the left bottom corner of your keyboard oh i thought you was telling me to look at my screen because there's nothing on my screen right now except for this scary thing that's going across and it's saying i have viruses and trojans and it's saying no, to call no, your sir, number not on your screen on your on your keyboard on your oh. keypad at the left bottom corner you have a window key it's look like four flats four boxes Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. I got a... I don't... There's nothing on my pad. It's, you know, I just put my wrist on it when I use the mouse. There's nothing on the keypad. Okay, which device are you using? It's a home computer or an office computer, like a laptop or a desktop? I'm at home. I don't, I'm retired. I'm at home. I don't, if I was at an office, I would, I would have one of those guys with the beards that come around and they look at your computer and they tell you they're fixing it, but they're probably not. They're just trying to justify their salary, you know, but I, I don't work at an office, so I had to call you. First, tell me one thing. Right now you're at your home, right? And this is a laptop or a desktop that you are using. Ah, it's, it's a computer. I don't know what these things are. I don't even, my grandkids brought it and put it on my desk and told me to use it and they they told me not to they told me to look out for scammers so i'm afraid of scammers and i don't know and I, what do i do so you don't want this security alert to be to display from your screen i, I need some help again? here i need some help here i don't know what to do i got this scary message what do i do i need your help that's what i'm asking you sir i need some help here what do i do don't worry about that i will don't worry about that. I will connect you with this server and we will remove the part on your screen, okay? So that you can use your device. Okay. I can use some advice right now? Yes, I can use some advice if that's... Just follow the instructions, sir, so that we can re remove this pop-up on your screen, okay? All At right. the left bottom corner, you have a window key. Tap on the window key with letter R. R as a Romeo. Window Press key. Press both the keys together. Okay, so I'm going to type R-O-M-E-O. -E no, sir, it's a window key. At the left oh. bottom corner, do you see any key which have four boxes? Like, there is a picture of four boxes. Uh, let me get my keys. Hold on. On your keypad? All right. I'm looking at my keys right now. I got one for my house. I got one for one for my my car and oh, yeah. my, I got one for my my friend's mom's house. I don't have any keys that say Windows. It's HP laptop. What it is? Oh, even I know not to get an HP laptop. I heard those were no good. I don't have it. Is that what you guys are selling? Is that? It looks like a computer. I don't even know. It looks like a computer. What do I do? I, someone just brought okay, it to no me. Okay, no problem. Like, you have a keyboard, right? At, the, at, the, at your keyboard. laptop. Keyboard. There's a keyboard connected, right? Where I, you have multiple keys. I've like backspace or spacebar, enter, delete, right? You have multiple keys. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on the spacebar. You don't need to click here and there. Oh, no. You need to first check on your keyboard do you see at the left bottom corner there is a window key it looks like white boxes white boxes Small all right four boxes all right white boxes do you see that I, don't, I don't have the box that came with my computer it's it's like a, it's a couple years old i don't have the box for it uh, what do you want me to type now, Romeo? There are four boxes on that key. Uh, I'm going to type out you need Romeo. To first press the window key with letter R, R as in Robert. Both the keys together. Press both uh, the keys together. So do I type Romeo or Robert? This computer is uh, confusing to me, young man. No, sir. I think you are not getting me. 
Let me do one thing. Let me call you, okay? Let me call you back from my direct extension. Let me call you. Just wait. Are you gonna call my computer and get into it for me? Don't do anything, sir. I'm calling you. Wait for my call. Uh, should I type Romeo or Robert? Wait, I'm calling you. Okay. Hello. How about... Now, I'm, I'm saying that when you are using your desktop or laptop, okay, you have a keyboard attached with it, right? And on that keyboard, there are multiple keys, like numeric, alphabet, caps lock, shift control. There are multiple keys, right? And look at the keyboard at the left bottom corner. Do you see any key? It's a big key. It looks like a window key. Like there are four boxes on Jeez. it. Four white boxes. White boxes. Small four white boxes. Yes. I all together. They are attached all together. Okay. Four boxes. On four boxes. My computer came in one box. Sir, I'm asking about the keys on your Jeez. keyboard. You have a key. On that key, you have a picture of four boxes. A picture? How do you put pictures in my computer? I've, I've always wanted to have a nice picture of, of me and my, my fish tank on my computer, but I could never figure out how to put a picture in my computer. Maybe later when we get this sure. this problem solved, you could so teach me, me how thing. to put a picture. Let me clear this thing. Let me clear this thing. I'm asking you to look at your keyboard. On your keyboard, you can see there is... Like, there are numbers, right? One, two, three, four, there are alphabet, and there are tab key, caps lock key, shift key. It's already written there on that key. And in the same way, there is a key. On that key, there is a picture of four boxes. A picture of four boxes? On that key. It's printed. Why would there be a picture of boxes on my key? Next to space bar key at the left bottom corner. Uh, Check left it. Left bottom corner. And what's that gonna do for me, young man? It's Sophie. Okay, hello, Sophie. How are you? I was just talking I'll to someone her. named Sophie. All right. <laughs> okay, now um, at the left bottom corner, you need to check next to space bar key at the left. You must be having a window key with letter four, like with the four boxes The letter on it. four. The letter four. I see a number four. No, it's not letter four. It's four boxes. It's a picture oh. of four boxes. Oh, like you, a said, cube. you said letter four. Small oh. cubes. Okay, small Q. All right, I see the letter Q. Do Sir, I... Just allow me a moment. Let me do one thing. Let me transfer this call to the senior executive, okay? Because I don't think you were getting me clear. That's oh. okay. I'm going to transfer this call, okay? You can talk to the senior executive and then you can tell them. Some All box right? just came up. It said run on the top. Is that what I want? It says run. No, you don't need to do anything. Just wait on that screen, okay? Oh, uh, well, what do I do with the, There's people in my computer. You said there was hackers in my computer, right? We need to check that, sir, right? Now, that's the reason I'm trusting your call, right? Well... So you uh, have to wait. Please be patient. Uh, I'm trusting this call, then you can just ask him whatever you want. Very and well, young man. Up. Thanks, young man. I'll wait. I've been transferred to Patrick. I'm one of the senior billing manager in the Microsoft Corporation. How can I help you today? Wow, that's pretty important person I got here. They're sending me to a really important person to help me. You're the senior billing manager? I'm sorry? That's a pretty important... I'm the important person for you. Wow, that's, that's a very... I'm impressed that they sent me to such a high up person in the corporation. Oh, you're impressed by me or you're impressed by Microsoft? Yeah, both, actually. I I just, I need some help here, and I'm hoping y'all can help me out. All right. Uh, that's amazing. I so you're the billing help you, officer. But if you're going to act in such a weird way, are you a kid? A oh, weird? I think I'm talking like, I'm talking four-year-old baby. Uh, young lady, I'm 79 years old. 
So I, I believe you need a babysitter. A babysitter. Uh, can you? Yes. I, I got Ask a message on my screen. Ask your wife to do babysitting for you. I got you a, need a babysitter. message on my screen that says I got viruses and trojans, and it said to call this number. Uh, yeah, hello, young lady. I, I just got a message on my screen, and it said I got. It's a young boy. It's not a young lady. Uh, young lady went down. Oh, okay. I, I'm something so to eat. I'm sorry about that, ma'am. Uh, now, I got a message on my screen. It says I have Trojans. Do you, have you ever seen those before? Do you do you know how to help me with these? Sir, why are you making the call prank? Do you know how much I pay for this call? I paid $35 for every single call. You just wasted my $35. Oh, what are you doing? really? Really? I'm, listen, I'm sorry. I just I got a message on my screen. It said to call this number. Just give me $35. I will be impressed. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well, uh, anyway, I, I, what do I do to protect from these viruses and trojans on my computer? I don't know that, okay? Well, uh, aren't you Microsoft Corporation? That's what the young man said. Do you want to talk to Sophie? Uh, whoever can help me, that's up to you. Hello? Uh, hello, young man. I, I, I still need some help here with my computer. Are you computer. crazy or what? Do you think I'm young man? Don't you know Sophie? What it means? You are talking to a lady? I, I, I'm really sorry, sir. I just I need what some help with my computer. What the you are doing? You know how expensive we are taking these calls? So, Microsoft Corporation can, can afford... Do one thing. Do one thing. Oh, hello. Do one thing. Give me $50,000 right now. Uh, Give well, me a wire transfer. I'm not getting sales here. Oh, uh, so really, I mean, I don't have that much, but I suppose I could give you some if you can help me with this you issue. Don't have? Oh, that means you are poor. That's interesting. Then what the f you are doing? You should go to job. Get some good job. Hey, Sophie, you know what the you best part about this is? Hey, Sophie, you want to hear something really interesting? You're actually being recorded for a podcast. Call me back, okay? You're actually being recorded for a podcast right now, so you're going to be really famous. No problem, no problem. You want... Whatever you want, you won't be able to catch me, okay? Excellent. I'll keep Don't calling you guys. Just, just do me a favor. Do not call me back, okay? All right, I will. Thanks for calling and support this site, Mary. How may I help you? Uh, hello, young lady. I, I got a problem. I got a message on my screen. Okay, I will definitely help you in this. Can you please tell me that what you were exactly doing on the computer? I was on my computer. I was using it, and I got a message on my screen. And it said I had viruses and trojans. Yeah, I... And I'm very scared about what that is. What you were exactly doing on your computer, sir? Can you please tell me? Uh, I, I don't... I, I'm actually a, I'm actually a ma'am. I'm actually a ma'am. So I was on my computer doing publishing clearinghouse. Okay, so is this your personal computer or is this your work computer? Oh, no, I, I'm retired. I don't have a work. Okay, this is your postal computer. Uh, so is there someone a else who use your computer, computer apart from you? A postal computer? I don't work at the post office. I, I'm at home. Okay, is this your computer or a laptop, sir? It's a text job, right? A text job? I don't have a job. I'm telling you that is this your text job? A tech job? I, well, I, I'm not a technical person. That's why I called you. Okay, no worry. I'll help you in this. Can you uh, please tell me that how many total devices are connected with the internet right now? Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo. I don't I don't know about total devices. I I don't know what kind of devices that is. Okay. Uh what is exactly showing on your screen? Can you please tell me? It says I have viruses and trojans, and it gives me a phone number. Okay, no worry, I'll help you in this, and uh, I'll just guide you the troubleshooting step you need to perform it on your computer, okay? All right. Cause you, am I going to become a technician today? Okay, I, I'll just help you in this. Uh, just do one thing, look into on the keyboard on the left-hand side, bottom corner. Do you see any four square boxes key, a window key? Uh, on the window. I could. You want me to go out the window? Key. Uh, the window is key. Let me look at my keys. All right. Look I got. Into on the 
I have a key to my door, but I don't have a key to my window. On the left hand side, bottom corner, you will get the window key. Four square boxes key. You're gonna send me a window key? I, I use keys on my door handles, but I don't use keys on my windows. Left side, bottom corner, on the keyboard. Okay. Um, I play the drums, I don't play the keyboard. What do you see right now, sir? Hello, young man. I see, uh, I see something on my keyboard. I'm not a man, sir. Oh, okay, I'm... look at the left-hand side of your keyboard. Left-hand side of my keyboard, okay. Yeah. Left-hand side. Can you see a key which has four square boxes in it, like a window or a flag? I see, uh, there's a sun and there's a speaker. Uh, Where are you looking at? I look on the bottom, like under my computer. All right, I'll flip it over. Hold on, young man. I don't what see What does it. the bottom mean, sir? On the bottom of the computer, there's just, it's like smooth. It's like metal. It's smooth. It's pretty nice, actually. Bottom of your keyboard or just below your computer, am I right? So you have to look on the keyboard at the very bottom. Can you see the, what is the last key at the left-hand side of your keyboard? Can you tell me? What's the last wow, key at the left-hand side of the keyboard? It says FN. Control. Is that how you control my computer? I just press control? How can I sit here and control your computer, sir? By just clicking on the key. That's, well, I, th I, don't, I don't know much about computers. I just thought if you need to get in here and help me, you could press control. No. What's the next key beside it? Control. Let's see here. It says Alt. What's Alt? And what's next key just after Alt? What does Alt do? It does nothing, sir. It does nothing? Then why would they put it on the keyboard? Can you see or look for the key that I'm telling you to do? Otherwise, this call is going to take 24 hours. 24 hours I have to wait to use my computer? You don't for 24 hours. That's the sarcasm that I'm talking to, okay? What are you talking about? Uh, why did you, you say I'd have to wait? Hot. It would take 24 hours to fix my computer? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm saying you have to cooperate with me, okay? If you're not going to cooperate, then this call is going to last for 24 hours. I have you to cooperate. What's cooperate? Is that a computer term? Is that a button? Do I look for cooperate? Sir, you have to cooperate with me and follow the instructions that I'm talking about. And if you don't want my help, just turn off your laptop and then again turn it back on. That's all it is? That's all I have to do? Yeah, that's all you have to do. That's all I have to do? That's it? Yeah. So, why are all these people telling yeah. me I have to that, why are they telling me that I have to pay all this money and I was going to get North Koreans and Trojans and why did Please. they tell me all that? Please. Who I, says? Who told you that you will be getting paid for that? Uh, so you will be paying some money in order to resolve this. Who said you? Uh, the other people I talked to in your office. Do you know the number? Or do you know the name of the person? Yeah, Microsoft you Corporation. To? I talked to a lot of people at your corporation. You know, young you man, have a name. I spent all day talking to you people, young man, and I was hoping that someone at Microsoft Corporation could protect me, because I've been a customer of yours for a long time. Are you mad or what? I I'm just very, very scared about this message on my screen, and I'd I like some help. So. Oh my god, you're talking rubbish. You're just talking rubbish. Rubbish? And you don't, you know what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Why would, why would I talk rubbish? I just need help with my computer. Because you, that's what I told you. You just told me that someone said to you that you're going to pay for it. And when I asked you the name of the person who told you, you say, I talk to a lot of people in the Microsoft. Do you just sit idly at your home and then call the people in the Microsoft just like that now, and who, time pass? Who would do that? That doesn't make any sense right there. I talked to a Sophie. I talked to a couple of men no, who didn't give their name. Who is 
Sophie. Oh, I talked to a Patrick, but there were a lot of people. And what's your name, Patrick. young man? Why should I tell you my name? First, yeah, you, you have won't. to tell me who told you that you're going to pay for it. You give me the name first. Oh, is it is it free then? Is this is this a free service? I hope so, because I don't have a lot yes. of money. Oh, okay, okay. That makes me Everything feel a lot is better. Free. Everything is free. That makes yeah. me feel a lot Not better. Not do one thing, just turn off your laptop and okay. then again turn it back on. And don't call Microsoft again, okay? Okay. Otherwise, I will block you. Oh, okay. okay? Hey, just so you know, you're being recorded for a podcast about scams. So you're famous now. you were trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello, Sophie. I just wanted to see if you could fix my computer. You call me back whenever you want. Thank you for reaching Microsoft Corporation. This is Sophie. How may I assist you? Yeah, I got a message on my screen about a, a computer problem. Okay, what it says exactly? Can you please read that email, uh, like, e that pop-up on the screen? Uh, it was not an email. Uh, it was a pop-up, and it said, viruses detected. Mm-hmm. And then it, it said, scanning detection, and it showed a scan. Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. Let me just check from my end. First, what do you have name, who I'm speaking with? Foghorn Leghorn. Okay. All right. So, as you received the pop up on your screen, what were you doing exactly? I was on your computer. I was on my computer. I was I was reading the news. I don't know why it had someone broke into the news. You were reading news. Someone broke into the news page. Okay. Someone broke into my computer. Okay. Like. Have you ever, uh, like, opened any pop-up on your screen or any alert, I'm any advertisement? Advertisement? No, I, I know not to click on any of that. I, I, I know how to protect myself against scammers. I would never click on anything. All right, no problem. Just do one thing. First of all, I will be guiding you some steps, okay? We will be connecting you with our security server of Microsoft. Because, as you know, you are the Microsoft user, and there are multiple securities which are already inbuilt in the Microsoft devices. And right now, as you receive this pop-up regarding our Trojan virus, that means that security is totally breached, okay? It seems like the securities are breached by these people, or whosoever is active on your information. So, I will be guiding you some steps so that we can go ahead and connect you with the server. Then we will go ahead and check exactly what's going on, okay? So, follow the instructions, whatever I'm guiding you with. On your keyboard, like on your keypad, at the left bottom corner, do you see a Windows key with letter, like there are four boxes on it? A Windows key, all right. All right, I, I see that. Yes, you need to press both the keys together, like letter R, R as in Robert, and Windows key, which have four boxes picture on it. Boxes press both the keys together. There's six boxes on the F4. Is that what I'm doing, F4? There's six little boxes no, on no. there. No, no, let me... No, no. At the left bottom corner, where you have Shift, Control, FN, Alt, there you will be having like a key where there are four boxes on it, like a four flap. You need to press that key with letter R, R as in Robert. There's the window key and letter R. It says run, it's a little rectangle though. It's not a pop-up in the middle, it's on the side. Yes. It's a rectangle. It, it, it may be in the left bottom corner. It will say, type the name of program, folder, documents. Right? Uh, what folder or document do I want? I'm telling you. No, no, I'm telling you the name. Tap in there. www. Dot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. W U as in unicorn. U. L as in love. L. Mm hmm. T as in Thomas. 
R as in Romeo, A as in Apple, V as in Victory, I as in Indiana, E as in Echo, W as in Whiskey, E as in Echo, R as in Robert. It's U L T R A V I E W E R W W dot Ultra Weaver. Are you getting it? So I typed W W dot U L T R A W I E W A R dot com W W Ultra Viewer. No, no, it's from the start. It's only www, like three times w, dot ultraviewer dot net. N E T. Nancy Echo Thomas. W. So it's three W's. Yes. I'm, oh. I'm starting it over again. From the starting, there are three W's, okay? Three w's. www dot ultraviewer dot net. N E T. Net. Okay, so I type number three and then letter W. Okay. No, no number three. You, okay, let me start it over again, okay? Remove everything. Okay. Remove everything. All right. Type in there W, 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 three times. All right. You don't need to type the number three. It's W, 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 dot, put a dot. Uh, dot. Alright, W. Oh, why isn't it dot com? I thought web It's dot net. It's dot net. N E T. Okay, I typed in dot com and now it says potential security risk ahead. No, 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 no. It's www.ultraviewer.net. It's not dot com. Oh. I told you it's dot net. N as in Nancy, E as in Echo, T as in Thomas, N E T. Net. All right. Let's see what it happens here. Now hit OK. Now what do you see there? Do you see Ultra Viewer? It There's says a page. Google www.ultraviewerwar.net and then it says showing results for www.ultraviewer.net and then there's ultraviewer oh, listen to me you were you were doing it wrong okay oh, no. let's do it again oh, no. press the windows key and letter r no go back from there don't open anything Press the window key, which I told you, which is there on your keyboard at the left bottom corner, where there are four pictures, like there is a picture of four boxes on it, on that key. Uh, it's a window I, key. You uh, need to press the window key with letter R. R is Robert. How do I get... Put the keys together. How do I get out of this? You don't need to get out of this. Just, just press the keys together. Windows key and letter R. R as in drop it. Okay, I got I got a box. Again, it's a run box, right? Now, listen to me very carefully. Please make sure don't add anything from your end, okay? Type in there, W, W, W. Three times. Type in there. All right. Then put a dot. And a dot. Dot. Now, up in there, N as in Nancy, D as in Echo, T as in Thomas. Net. Ultraviewer.net. All in the work here? No spaces are there. Okay. You got it? Alright, it's, it's, uh, I think so. Should I click OK? Now tell me what you, what you have written there. Set uh, it back to me. WWW. And then, do I use a comma or a dot? I, I put a dot. And then... Yes, you, you have to put a dot. I told you to put a dot. 
Oh, I, I, I couldn't remember they're next to each other. They're, if you look, they're, they're next to each other. www.cookstop? What was the thing that's not dot com? It was something else. Yes, I told you after that, after www.ultraviewer.net, it's M E T, Nancy Echo Thomas. Why are you not getting it? I, I never grew up with computers. I, I'm really, it's okay. It's okay. I'm it's sorry. okay. I'm sorry. I never I will, grew I will up make with you an and everything. Don't worry. I don't know anything about yeah, computers. I know. You now, know. what do you see there? So there's dot .net. No problem. Tap in there. Okay, okay. Now, tap on okay, and tell me what do you see next. All right, all right. And, and a press of the K. So now it says dot uh -huh. N-E-T-K. I press K. What do you see there? Okay, now it says... Ultra Viewer. What is Ultra Viewer? Download document pricing blog contact download. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Remote desktop okay. software. Oh, so now, I, what? I don't need problem with okay. my remote. I have no, problem with my computer. No, this is, Mom, let me speak, please. Okay, now we have a page where it says Ultra Viewer, right? There is a green box, like, which is download. A green box. Oh, it keeps moving. It's First it says remote desktop software. Ultra Viewer helps you control your partner's yes, computer yes, to support yes. them as if you were sitting in front of their screen. Oh, and then it went away. Now it says new version Ultra Viewer, and the green button moves so fast. It's okay. It will... It you need keeps, to tap on the green box download. It, it move every time I try to move over to it, it moves to the middle. That now, what kind of website was this? Why why would Microsoft make a website like this? This is a, this is a security server. Okay, don't worry about that. You will be able to understand it. Now tap on the green box. Click on the green box. Once you tap on it, it, it just let me know. It keeps moving. Try to tap on it. Catch it. Uh, oh, I, oh, oh, I almost got it. Okay. All right. All right. Uh -huh. Now, I what do you see next? Uh, I just, it just, something popped up and it went away. I'll try again. Again, by the way? Okay. It came up on the bottom. Uh -huh. Ultra Viewer. Setup six dot six, and then a line, and then e n dot e x e. But then it went away. Where did it go? Yes, yes, yes. A tiny pop-up on your screen. Box on my screen. It went away. It was there. And it the went corner. away. It left went away. At the left bottom corner. Just left. look at your screen. It says you just told me it was there. Connect wise. T-O-N-T-R dot 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 E-X-E. Uh, it said, it said Ultra Viewer Setup. There was no ConnectWise. So what's ConnectWise? It says Ultra Viewer. Which is which? What do you see? Like at the corners of your screen, do you see Ultra Viewer? Ultra viewer and then a line and then set up and then six. Yes, yes, tap and then on that. Dot. Oh, it yes, just, tap oh, on that. oh, it just Click went on away. It. Oh, it just went. I'll have to do it again. Do I hit the green again? Yes, hit the green again. Okay. All right. ConnectWise is the world's leading software company dedicated to the success of IT solution providers. Is that what I want? We do it through unmatched software. What, what do you see there? Do you see at the corners of your screen, it says Ultra Viewer? Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. It says Ultra Viewer-8. All right. Yes, tap on that. Okay. Click on it. I 
try to tap on my screen, but it doesn't do anything. Should I try to click on it? Yes, try to click on it. There we go. Okay. It says Ultra Viewer. It wants me to put something in? No, what? It wants a what number. Is do you see your ID? Oh, it says put a number in. No, do you see your ID and password there? Where do I get a machine? Then what do you see? Where you were saying that you have to put it in? Oh. What do you have to put it in there? What do you see there? Uh, what do you see there? Do you have any options like a green download? It's coming back. You know when it goes in the screensaver? My ID, it's coming up. It says your ID. Uh, but it... Okay, just wait. Now, where it says your ID? Do you see any number? I don't know how you have the patience. Do you do this all day for your job? Yes. But this is my job. That's why we have to be very patient with the customers. Here comes. You were telling me that you can see your ID. How long have you worked for this Microsoft? Sir, we are not authorized to talk about the personal questions and personal answers. That's the reason I will not be able to answer any of your questions. Because right now I'm on my work and I have to uh, like help you. Okay? So please, I would request you to please don't ask me any of the personal questions. I oh. hope you understand that. That's too bad because it's... When you, you have to get to know somebody, you know, you have to, it it's makes your day a little better if you can have a nice talk with someone. It says, allow remote control. Please tell your partner the following ID and password if you would like to allow remote control. All right, now help me out with the password. Five, two, five. All right, I'm I'm just connecting you online with my server, okay? Just stay on the same screen. Don't do anything. Meanwhile, let me just help you, okay? So, do you do online banking and online shopping on the same device? On your computer? Something came up on my screen here. Where's Ultra Viewer? It went away. Yes, the, the security... The securities are going on, okay? Our security system is working right now. It don't do anything. Wow, well, look at all this. What do I do? Don't do anything. You don't need to touch anything, okay? Okay, I'll let, I'll let them. So, is it a Chromebook which you are using? Or it's a desktop, like your Windows computer? What do I do now? Listen to me, please. You are not even replying me. What do I have to... Do I click reply? What do I do? So, tell me one thing. Like, before this call, like you were talking to someone else as well? No, I got a, I got a message on my screen, and here you are. Uh, okay, this is the first time you're talking to me, right? Right, right. Have I met you before? Do you live okay. around here? I don't think we have met before. Even I don't know you personally, right? That's why I was trying to get to know you and ask how long you've been here. Okay, I'm helping you out. I'm putting the security. Don't do anything, meanwhile. I will be putting the security code on your system, okay? So just allow me a moment. Security code? Wow, security code. Yes, just allow me a moment. And do you do online banking and shopping with the same device? I don't do a lot of it, but I'm I do some. You. I'm asking you something. I, I do some... I do some online shopping sometimes and, and banking. I try not to do online banking because of all the, you know, you don't want to... I got a computer and I don't want anyone to get into my computer. Of course, that's right. Because right now, as you know, so much scam is going on, so you have to be very careful regarding that, right? Yeah, why are there so many scammers out there? Can, can Microsoft do anything about that? Of course, we are already putting the securities on the system. What's all this? Are you touching your screen? Uh, I was just trying to to move. I was moving something on my desk, and maybe I might have hit the mouse. You do, no, you don't need to do anything. You don't do anything. 
you think, okay? The technicians are already working on the device. Don't do anything by yourself. What's going on? What is all this? All these people getting into my computer. I don't even know. Sure, why are you touching your screen? Don't touch it. I, I'm not, and I'm a lady. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We, we were just having a... It's all right. We just had some laughs. So you... Can you scan? Can you scan my banks? No, we can't. Right now, we are checking the securities. Whatever the applications or whatever the, like, uh, like, that, that you can see the third party is running, we are checking it one by one, okay? Wow, I see on my screen. Yeah. I see on my screen you clicking on banks and PayPal, so you're doing a scan of each one? Yes. Why are you looking for compromised First passwords? First of all, I think you were mistaken. Just wait, 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 wait. I think you were getting, uh-huh, I, I think you're mistaken. We are not checking your bank information or anything. We are not checking your PayPal or anything. We are just checking right now, is there any security breach on these apps or not? Wow, that's why would you? Why would we scam you? No, you, and you, you're you looking called, for... um, like you called Microsoft, right? Right, so, so what I'm saying is you're looking at all my banks and PayPal's and doing like a virus scan? Is you're looking after, looking, cleaning up my computer? Yes, of course. Ah, that's yes, what I asked you, I don't know. Because what. I think this is too old. Too old? Like, computer is too old, and right now, this virus was coming from your Amazon. So oh you have Amazon, Amazon account? Let me do one thing. Let me just transfer this call to the manager on the floor, okay? Uh, this will come me a moment. This is incredible. So she broke into my machine and she's looking for any saved passwords. She's just going in the browser to paypal.com or banks or anything looking in my history because if if this were a real computer i've got her in a fake computer right now in an empty computer but if this were a real person who used their computer she could easily just look at all the saved passwords it's another great reason why you never want to save passwords you have to have them on real paper so bad people can't look at them this is incredible i'm actually learning a lot right now because she keeps looking in my computer she's just looking for saved passwords. All right, you there? Hello? Yes. First of all, you need to confirm me whether I'm talking to a lady or to a man. Lady. You're a lady? That's right. Hello? Do you have a bank account on this computer? Uh, are you looking to protect my bank accounts? Yes, ma'am. Uh, are you uh, still on my computer? Yes. All right. Well, ma'am, what are you doing? Um, Wait, open your bank account over here. Login into your bank. Okay. Over here. All right. All From right. which bank you have an account with? Uh, I've got a lot of different bank accounts here. Why would you? Why would you want my uh, bank accounts? They said this was this was for my computer because of the Trojans in my computer. What does this have to do with my bank accounts? We have to secure your bank accounts, ma'am. Oh, secure my bank accounts. Should I call them? Do you want to talk to them and tell them cause, tell them that you found something? Ma'am, right now I asked you to log in. Why, would, why, would we, why wouldn't we just call my banks and I'll have you talk to them and you tell them you're from Microsoft Corporation? Ma'am, ma we are not allowed to talk to your bank. We are allowed to go ahead and talk to the primary customers. Why are you asking me silly questions? I just, I don't know all this stuff about computers. I don't know, I don't know a lot about this technical stuff. And you so you don't need to question. Questions. Oh, really? So you don't need to question me, all right? Wow. I ask you to log in into your bank. That means go ahead and log in into your bank. All right, all right. Let's do that now. Let's do that. Are you, are you drunk? Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm looking because you were acting like you were a drunk. I mean, I did you put, smoke the pot? I put plants. I have potted plants, but I don't smoke pot. Here's my bank over here, Capital One. Do you smoke cigarettes? I I, I do. What smoke is it? The name of your bank? Uh, I, it's Chase. You just said Capital One. Now you're saying Chase. Well, if you look, it said Capital One that came up. I I got a lot of accounts. 
you have a lot of accounts? Yeah. Where do I? What do I need to do now? You do not need to use your computer, okay? All right. I'm, I'm leaving alone. I'm not touching anything. Um, why are you pressing random buttons on your computer? Are you crazy? What do I do now? Are you looking at my accounts now? Are so you going to make sure they're safe, right? Yes. How much money do you have in your chase? Oh, at least seventy or eighty thousand. Plus, I got another money market. Seventy or eighty thousand. How? Uh, why? All right. Did right. you even even saw that money? Did you even saw that amount in your whole life? I I have that. That's I mean that's my life savings. I don't want I don't want nothing to happen to it. So I got to make sure it's secure. Why are you playing? Why did you call me? I just lost thirty five dollars. You know because you called me, and I know you're a man. You're not a lady. You know what's really interesting about this young lady is that I know a lot of people. I have a lot of fans. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of fans for my podcast, and I've actually had the CIA trace your IP address. So good luck, and you're actually now famous in America. <laughs> you're on a podcast, so thanks for playing, and uh, we'll keep calling you. Thank you. Thank you for making me fa- famous. That's beautiful. Thank you for making me famous. That's so cool. I'm gonna. I've got you. So you're on a podcast. I've got you tracked down. We've got everything about you. I'm going to talk to all the scam baiters. We're going to call you and we're going to shut you, you down. You won't be able. Oh, you, you have no idea, buddy. Me. You have no Just idea you what Just you're try. in for. I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Just try. I'll keep talking to you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for playing. I love how I wasted all of your time. You know, you could spend your time actually doing good things for people, and you'd make a lot more money, too. But instead, you're preying on people and and stealing their money. I'm doing good things. Really? You're doing doing good good things? things? Really? By stealing people's bank accounts. That's good. Yes. Really? Why is that good? Because I don't want to um, work my ass off to earn money. This is an easy way. Yeah, but the interesting thing is, you can actually make a lot of money by helping people. I make a lot of money by helping seniors. I actually do classes, and I educate them about how to protect against this exact scam. And I play recordings of this, where I interact with people like you, and I waste as much of your time as possible, and then I trace you down and shut you down. Listen to me. I love it. I love it. We're going to keep calling you, and I will make sure that you never hurt anyone again. You know this, right? I will keep calling you every day for the rest of your life until you change your life or until you reincarnate into a bug. Do you understand? 